how many synths do I've got? I have no idea. I do have a list of my equipment, just to like I have a, a stock list of what I have and what I haven't got. Also with serial numbers, I just do it also for um, insurance purposes. I've never counted them and I'm not interested in counting them and I'm not like accumulating, I have one more now and I want to have 10 more and so on and so forth. I'm just more interested in the, uh, in the sound they can provide. No, there is not one synth I could say I take on the island with me. And it depends also uh, on the mood I have. Because obviously, if I talk about a polyphonic synth, they are more usable because you can play them immediately. When you talk about modular, you have much more possibilities. They are limited on the music you can make, which is more one instrument. I used quite a lot the Roland System 700, the Waldorf Wave as well, uh, the Axel Technos, which is quite rare and uh, not many people know. Well, the way I use uh, synthesizers is it's a different approach to in each instrument you use, knowing more or less the focus uh, of each instrument. Uh, so if you go to a modular synth, you definitely not gonna expect a string sound or a piano. And according to what I'm trying to achieve, like, is it like a mellow or is it more rhythmic? According to what I want to achieve, it's the way I'm going to choose which instrument I want to, want to actually put into a track I'm working on. So it can happen that I use a memory MOOC because it's on your back and because of a, a warm, nice analog sound that I love. At the same time, I'm going to use like an ARP 2600 for drum sounds because I'm going to capture them, sample them. And even if I've got time, if I'm in the mood, I'm even going to sample those drum sounds with old samplers instead of just putting it into Pro Tools or any other DAW. Well, the virtual instrument I had the pleasure to play with um, is definitely definitely a, a very realistic recreation of the original instrument. You know, you want to see the strength and weakness of the instrument and I could, things that I couldn't do with others, or actually I could do, but I could definitely hear it in, in the headphones, could hear the limits and in this case, as I said, I was amazed because I, I did some filter sweeps, I, I did some bass sounds, I didn't have any presets I could listen to, so I had to create my own. And I did use the envelopes, I wanted to see how the attack works and how the release, the release time, the sustain, the multi-mode filter, the different filter characteristics. And I must say the, the filter is very authentic and I, well it's one of the first things I actually going to listen to. And moving it slowly, even with LFOs, I couldn't hear any uh, artifacts. Uh, it has been a pleasure meeting you from Acoustica and spending some time with you has been fantastic. Also to know some insight uh, how things work on a, a software basis and the way you actually work on virtual instruments and other plugins or uh, FX you have created so far has been very interesting because I didn't know that much about it. <music>